good early morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow, especially because a hurricane's coming. I decided since I had a very practical morning, I got up at 5 a.m. to run, that I would go to the store, stop by Walmart on the way to work, and guess what? Pallets on pallets on pallets of water. So it's actually almost eight. I have to check out and get to work, but we got snacks for the hurricane. Check it out. We got pitas, we got chips, we got pretzels, unfrosted pop tarts, because unfrosted ones are the vegan ones. Paper towels, cereal, pretzels, that's new. Got that. Two cases of water. It was crazy. The second I walked in, they had pallets and pallets and pallets and pallets of water that they started unloading. So I literally walked in with my card, grabbed two cases. This is why you don't freak out in Florida, because every single day there's new shipments, especially during hurricane time. All right, water check, food check. Really, you only have to worry about how much food you're gonna have for when, when and if you run out, of, you lose power. So, um, Katie is in a new development and very close to the theme park, so I don't see those power lines being down. Well, the power lines are actually buried in her community, so it's even better. Um, I don't see her community being out of power for more than at most a day, so it'll be fine. Eve's got food, the only thing we have to check hurricane readiness wise is batteries which we'll check that later after the boys move out we'll get those lanterns that are in their bathroom and then I have to figure out what's going on with our apartment well Sarah's gonna call because we're in a hurricane warning now and we got an email early morning like 3 a.m. that our leasing office our current apartment leasing office is closed now but until the hurricane's gone so who do we turn our keys into got to figure that out and then I'm supposed to get our U-Haul and or our storage unit and potentially our U-Haul truck today. We're supposed to get our U storage unit, but I may try to move up me picking up the truck from yesterday until, or tomorrow into today. So I'm gonna do that after work today. I'm supposed to get off early, but I also still work in the hospitality industry today. It's probably gonna be a hectic day in the office trying to figure out what's going on with all of the resorts and places we manage throughout the hurricane zones in Southern Florida and the coast. and. Um, the islands and everything so off to work big day okay this is the current state of the apartment it all escalated so quickly I can let Eve out of the kitchen now Matt and Ben are moving their stuff out today maybe a little bit tomorrow but mostly today and then we are going to get our storage unit and our moving truck tonight so we're kind of taking it slowly because we have all day tomorrow and then we also have Sunday. I know we want to be out on Sunday and into Katie's, but I do know that we're going to stay here at least Saturday night, mattress on the floor, just one last night, the three of us. Okay, so I have a feeling the next couple of days are going to look a little rough, um, but I'm okay with it. I'm excited to get stuff done, move. Um, the hurricane is obviously coming. So I have another update with our infertility appointment so the storm has slowed down and now it's supposed to be here Tuesday and Wednesday so because my protocol I have to see they have to do an ultrasound on a very specific day either day 10 11 or 12 is 11 and 12 are Tuesday and Wednesday and so now it bumped it up so now my appointment is on Monday day 10 um, so I'm happy because it gets to happen sooner and the ball is rolling and um all of that sort of stuff so that is good news on my end i'm gonna keep on drinking my pomegranate juice and my teas to make sure that this loss of a day doesn't like set me back because i'm losing a couple of days for my lining to get to the size that they want it to be but i'm confident i'm excited i know they wouldn't check me if they didn't think that it would um be a good idea so i'm happy i'm home from work i'm home from work and i got a new ride i got a new ride i got our 15 foot u-haul and i got our storage unit so we are ready to go we are starting to pack tonight wow 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 eve we're gonna put you in a box and put you in a storage unit wow no. wow wow this is crazy. I'm having major flashbacks when we moved in. Even like coming down the road in our U-Haul. Oh, she's so excited. Come in here. So fierce. Peter Burkhardt's steps for packing up your life and moving in one day. Step one, 
change. You need comfy, sweatable attire. Two, get something great on, like New Girl. And three, fuel the body. We got grapes, crackers, and veggie burgers coming up. I'm nervous. About what? We got some voodoo, Mountain Dew. Chick Chew showed them in the vlog already at the store. I'm nervous, it's replacing pitch black. My fave. Oh, it's 100% pitch. Replacing pitch black. <laughs> I almost forgot we had to pack that. What? It's a wonderful life sign. Um, Good thing I haven't. <laughs> Ooh, Are they Mountain ready? Dew. Voodoo. Uh, Could use a little bit more time, but if we're impatient, they're ready now. They're cold. I'm, well, I guess the Pepsi equation is 30 minutes in the freezer. Mountain Dew needs a little bit more if you ever want to do that. Alexa, set a timer. 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Cold. Cheers to fall, to Halloween, to Halloween Horror Nights, to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and to moving. It tastes like Smarties. Smarties? and starbursts yeah. and skittles oh a lot of starburst action no it's a lot of skittles action in there. yeah mostly skittles tastes like it's liquid skittles step three ditch new girl blast major tunes and start making piles of boxes by your exit route wow Peace. Before we get too crazy with packing and I totally forget, I want to wish David a very happy birthday. I'm gonna put his Instagram name below in the description. So if you want, you can follow him. He posts a lot of great Disney stuff, especially like old VHSs and just like a lot of cool information. He knows a lot of stuff. So we ran into David when we were at Epcot and Peter decided to drink his Beverly and David was mind blown because he knows that Beverly is not many people's favorite choice of beverage there. And we were able to connect on Instagram and we chit chat back and forth ever since. So just wanted to say happy birthday. All right, step number four is get your moving gloves on. I moved all my boxes out on the back the balcony. Luckily we're on the first floor and I can just shift them over to a U-Haul. So this is about uh, all the boxes, the seasonal boxes and kitchen stuff that we packed up that were in our closet. I'm gonna take those, move them on over there. All right, so we got a 15 foot. It was only $5 more, so I said why not than a 10 foot just to be safe. We have the, the little car, cabin up there, nice and clean, 15 foot truck. We will not need all the space, but we'll make good use of it. All right, I'm already sweating, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Got my gloves on, gonna move these boxes in here. of the first batch of bins or all the, the storage bins are in here I just gotta organize it it is a little sweaty a little hot out but I feel good to get started today all right so Sarah always says and Sherry said it once today that she I'm in one of my prime states when I'm packing because I love the Tetris so this is all like cubes bench this is probably not gonna be where this stuff stays but for right now it is until we get like the coffee table and the dresser because dresser will probably go in here coffee table will be in front of it bins will be or next to it bins will go on top of it gotta organize that and the chair chair will probably be closer to the front but we're looking really good because this is like probably half of more than half of like the storage things we have our kitchen stuff and Sarah's office stuff and I think that's it. the rest of it's like the furniture pieces. So looking good already. I've only been on here for like 20 minutes in the truck. I'm gonna lock it up and get inside and continue like the packing aspect. Taylor Swift. I smell so <laughs> bad. I worked until like 730. 7 30. <laughs> it was As we are fun. officially We're officially roommate less. Yeah. We're gonna see crazy. the Matt tomorrow. He's gonna pick up a few last things, but Ben just left. They're staying at their new place. We're staying here tonight. Yeah. They're gonna pick up the last few things and give us the key. Yep. We're officially living on our own again. Yeah. 
feels good. Feels great. That is the entire desk. And now I'm gonna tackle the bathroom. Oh, Peter. Another stage of packing is get rid of your junk. <laughs> this is my junk drawer that I purposely kept nasty looking because Sarah's stork necklace has been hiding, was hiding back here for years. And I thought if she ever opened this, because I don't hide anything from Sarah, but I thought if I opened this, she would see this mess and be like, oh gosh. <laughs> so I can finally like have a function. And I've actually not liked how dirty it's been, but there was right. dirty with purpose just for years. And I'm super happy to be getting rid of 90% of this. I may or may not have dove into our hurricane snacks already, but just chips and salsa. I'm just hungry. I finished the bathroom. I just have everything that like we need out and things that we're going to take to Katie's. Same thing with me getting rid of junk. I had stuff in that bathroom like allergy medicine, eye drops, cough drops, things like that. That like so I found something that expired in 2014. Um, so that feels really, really good. Honestly, I'm kind of like at a loss right now. Like I think I need to do the clothes. I've done like half of our clothes, but just like little in-betweener clothes that I need to get situated. And then really like it's just like cleaning and getting this into that truck tomorrow morning. All right, back at it. What do we look at? Kind of a hiatus. We had some chips and dip. We had Taylor Swift. Yeah, I just I, sat for a little. I took apart a bunch of furniture and brought a dip, bunch of other furniture and garbage to the dumpster so it's not sitting in our apartment. Um, and now we're like... Thank you for doing that. We're doing like last minute steps, like kind of getting our clothes organized from what we can. And I'm texting Josh right now. He's going to help us do the final bits of moving and moving into the storage unit tomorrow. Eva is exhausted from all the excitement today. Um, but it's looking good. We're looking really good. Yeah, especially I'd, since we have all day tomorrow. Right. I mean, technically, the, the we, they want the truck back. I said it would be back before 3. And then the other big thing that we have to do tomorrow is just finish the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And then clean, vacuum, and yeah. bucket, and water, hand, and our hands and knees cleaning. So that's going to be tomorrow. We're getting there. Yeah. Did you turn the air conditioning up? Yes. It's really cold in here. I'm still sweating. I've been sweating <laughs> since 5 o'clock. Look at our poor little bedroom wall. No dresser. That's still up there because that's going to come down last. We're going to try to keep that intact because those are actually dead flowers. They're stuck in styrofoam. They're not dead. They're dry. Dehydrated, yeah. So our dresser's out of here. Over here, our bench and all that other stuff is out. That, I'm waiting till tomorrow because it just rolls. It's super nice and easy. I have plants set there. This one's too big to go anywhere. Office in the box. Here's our dresser. It's actually out here, and I took apart the mirror because that mirror is actually attached, but I took that off and folded it. Um, all this is going to go straight out the, the sliding door to the truck that's over there. Well, I got these boxes. We've only used one. We've got those four boxes are empty. So that'll probably be what the rest of the kitchen stuff goes in. And we're getting there. The desk is deassembled de over there and tucked away. We got pieces and everything out and about. We're, it looks like a lot, but it's really not. Like, this is all going to be like, that's transporting like that. The stuff on top is going to go in a box. Those towels are being used to wrap kitchen stuff in it. That's empty. All organized. All right, because the lamp is on their ground, we have a spooky calendar right now to get ready for... Oh, I gotta text Josh. The full-on... My cousin. It's his birthday today. Everybody say happy birthday, Josh, in the comments. Um, for the full-on spooky season to begin. So August 30th. The second to last night in this apartment is by Soren... Kierkegaard, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Ooh, I dig that. Can't wait till September we get to read a new thing. Don't read it. Can't do it till September 1st. This Yuletime log, Snickers Doodle Furry Body Doggy, is so tired, but she did so good today with all the hubbub. Her eyes are basically closed. All right, not the most eventful. It was kind of like I showed you like this morning how like, how like, pumped and energy and stocked all the workers were at walmart did you say you you ran this morning i think i did i ran it I, we got up, we got up at 5 a.m or a little mm -hmm. bit, maybe like 4 50 by the time i actually got out it was like 5 10. this is how peter woke me up this morning things are getting serious I, it wasn't that dramatic <laughs> no it's like i don't think are, i said things no are that getting, things are getting serious you said things are getting interesting or like 
Oh, there's an update to the... Well, it's because when we woke up this morning, the hurricane had slowed down a lot. And our, as we told you in yesterday's vlog, our IVF appointment on Tuesday got pushed back to Wednesday. Then we wake up this morning to the storm being sl like being slower, and it's not going to come till at that point, practically Wednesday. I was like, great, now it's going to get pushed back again, but instead it got pushed forward. So all is great in the world. <laughs> I was like, woke up and I was like... <laughs> the hurricane's here on? already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did a lot of work today. Mm -hmm. We got our keys okay. figured out because I also woke up to the apartment complex being like, "We're You're shutting down. You're on your own." I was like, "We have to turn on our keys," but we got that figured out. It's we, like the bees on. we got our storage unit. We got our truck a day early. We did a lot of packing today. Everybody, be safe with the storm. It's not looking like it's gonna ride up the coast. So even if you're not in Florida, get prepared. If you're in the Georgia and the Carolinas, just to be thoughtful. Get the lawn decorations inside. So. We are all good. We got our food. Yeah, Katie's good. good. We even have sandbags left over mm -hmm. from Irma. That we like that weren't that touched. were never touched by rain or anything. So we've had those for two years mm -hmm. that we might bring to Katie's. And uh we're looking good. Yep. I have a coworker that's stranded at sea, but he's he's safe. He yeah. let us know today. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled. Walt Disney Productions.